So let's imagine that you are a very clumsy person and your finger slipped or your crazy cat ran over the keyboard and caused you to accidentally delete one of the most crucial folders on your Linux system. Now what happens to your system in such scenario? Well, let me demonstrate by deleting this user folder. So suddenly we lose our beautiful wallpaper, but it gets even worse. Everything just starts breaking. The programs in our dock completely disappear out of existence. Can I open any programs or something? Well, no. Trying to open anything gives you a bunch of errors. We don't even have the option to restart anymore. Everything is just blank. Right click options also don't really want to open anything. I also noticed our cursor is extremely small. You can barely even see it. So okay, maybe don't delete it. But what about other crucial system folders like slash lib and slash lib64. If we remove them from our system, the first noticeable thing that happens is the terminal commands don't really work. I simply cannot clear all of this mess. Now, if I wanted to watch some videos on the Firefox browser, it wouldn't be possible. We get some random ass error that it doesn't want to open. Same goes for literally every other program on this machine. Maybe we can just, you know, turn the system on and off? I mean, that's usually the solution to pretty much anything, right? So if we do that, we get a freezing execution. That's a pretty cold way to go out. I guess this system is not turning back on. Another crucial folder is slash bin, so let's just delete it. Now, if we open this terminal again, it tells us that this is a bad interpreter. This pretty much means that a lot of the terminal commands won't work anymore. It does, however, allow us to delete the slash etc folder, which is also crucial for the system. Once it's gone, we can restart the system and we get a black screen. Your system is not turning back on from this either. So from all of this we can conclude that you shouldn't delete anything that looks important on your Linux system.